Hi, I'm Neil Cook, CTO of Cloudmark, and today I'm going to talk about how we stop abuse, spam, phishing, fraud, and those kind of things um, using two things, content filtering and policy. Now, content filtering is when you're looking at uh, the content of bad stuff. It might be when you are downloading a, a virus from a website, it might be when someone's sending you a spam message, and you look at the payload or the content of that message, and you try to figure out if that payload or content is bad. And this has been the traditional method of uh, filtering bad stuff for a long time. Now, this is great, and this is something that Cloudmark absolutely does, but this by itself uh, isn't the whole solution. There's lots of ways where uh, you may not have any information about the kind of content that's, that's, um, that's malicious, and you still need to, to try to work out if this is bad. So what Cloudmark does is Cloudmark and other companies like Cloudmark, we uh, have what's called policy, which is something which, which looks at reputation or behavior of what people are doing. If you look at the way that people behave, you can determine that they're behaving maliciously, even if you don't know that the content or the payload is bad. And the way that we can do that, for example, is uh, there's some very simple things like volumetrics. One person might send one message to another person, and that's fine. But uh, if one person sends thousands of messages to another person, that's potentially uh, an issue, especially if they don't just send it to one person, but they send it to th a different person with every single message. That's a really simple example. Another one in, uh, in the mobile world is if you um, are sending a message to somebody, you'll typically get replies from the person that you're receiving messages from. Now, that's you know, normal behavior, but if you're a spammer or a bad guy, then typically you will send lots of messages to lots of different phones and those people won't reply to you because they're not your friends. In fact, they're probably deleting that message you sent to them because it was malicious. So again, we can detect that, for example, and we can look at the behavior of, of a certain mobile phone and say, well, this guy typically sends a lot of messages but never gets replies from those people. So that's behavioral analysis. Now, the reason this is important is if you, if you have behavioral analysis and content analysis, you can really detect 99% of all the threats out there. One or the other, you're detecting maybe 60, 70% of the threats. So there's a big difference between using both of those. And typically, using uh, behavioral analysis is much more um, better on your infrastructure, so it requires less uh, processing power, which means that you don't require as much of a large solution, so it's much, much more cost-effective. So if you're buying a solution to stop abuse, to stop spam, stop fraud, etc., look for solutions that's got um, content filtering and policy or behavioral analysis, um, and that will give you the best solution. Thank you.